Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Green Bay Classics YouTube. Jordan here. Uh, just real quick, I want to thank everyone who's ever tuned in. Uh, just over the weekend, we passed 1 million views on Green Bay Classics YouTube. So I couldn't be more uh, thankful and excited and stoked for what's to come. This summer's going to be great, and uh, we're going to make those numbers really jump. But today, we are going to go into how to apply decals, stickers, things like that things of that nature, transfer tape, some of the finer details that you need to know to how to really get a good application. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like, subscribe button, that bell notification lets you know when I post. Thank you so much. So this morning, we're gonna be working with the Corvette. It already has a lot of decals on it, so it doesn't hurt at all to put some more on. Uh, the first thing, I already cleaned this a while ago, but you wanna start with a really nice clean surface. I'm also gonna warm it up a little bit just because the garage is a little cold this morning. So we'll, uh, we'll start by cleaning it up and making sure we have a good clean surface to work with. So here we have my race number for the Corvette. So there is transfer tape on it already. So you see the reflection there. Transfer tape is, is a very particular material. It needs to be strong enough to lift the decals off the backing paper, but it needs to be not strong enough to hang on to it when you place it on the window. So transfer tape can be a little bit uh, iffy, you know. Uh, you need you need to press it down, like each number, I'm gonna go over and just make sure that the transfer tape is nice and well adhered to the number so that when I peel this back in, all my numbers are nice and stayed on the transfer tape. Because it's not, it's not so hard to place them, but the spacing and everything is really what I want to keep. So that's the real purpose of transfer tape. So the transfer tape really just helps for a nice clean application. It keeps the spacing exactly how it came off the printer. So when I printed this, I peeled all the excess material, everything except what the printer cut out for my numbers. So I'm just gonna go over it real smooth again just rub in the transfer tape to each one of the numbers so that when I peel it, it comes off nice. So I'm gonna try right now. And sometimes you have to help it. The transfer tape is it's a very, very if or and regards how much it sticks. So I had to start it slow. When I peel it, I just make sure that the edges are coming up. Normally when the number or the letter or number starts, it all comes pretty good, but sometimes you have to take your time. Make sure that that transfer tape is really, really adhering to the, your, your numbers, letters, stickers, whatever it is that you're doing. So right here, it's cold out in the garage, so automatically the transfer tape wants to work a little bit less. And the, the more detailed the letters are, the less there is for the transfer tape to actually grab. So I'm just going through each letter at a time and peeling it up, taking the backing off, and making sure that the transfer tape has the letters and numbers really well. So just in this process alone, if I would have just ripped off the transfer tape fast, it wouldn't have been good. You know, you have to take your time. You really have to be precise and make sure that your stuff is working exactly how it should. So there we go. It took a little bit, but there's the, there's my decal on the transfer tape. So now that I have that, I'm going to apply. So 
So this definitely isn't going to be the easiest thing to do one-handed. But I have the windshield nice and clean right now. Try not to get the glare. And I have the decal. So with two hands, it would be much easier to do this. But I'm going to do it with one just to show. So exactly how I want it. Laid it down one corner to the next. And let her stick. So now the transfer tape is really going to come off pretty easy compared to the backing. So this part is nicer. Once you have it nicely applied, it's down fully. Just give it a little warm up. And then the angle of which you pull this is very important. If you do a sharp angle, instead of just pulling straight up, I'm gonna peel it back so that my angle is very sharp and my transfer tape doesn't want to grab back onto these numbers. So there we go. Now I'm gonna grab a corner of the transfer tape and I'm gonna peel it back nice and sharp angled. And she peels off real nice and easy. And there we go. So that's the, the transfer tape. You can still see where the numbers were. Set that aside. And there we go. That's our first race number. So just to recap, installing decals and stickers, the smaller the sticker, the easier it is to get away with stuff. You have a lot less surface area to create and capture air bubbles. So with smaller stickers, you don't need transfer tape, mostly. Something just like just like that. I mean, I didn't use transfer tape or anything on that sticker and it came out just fine. The more detailed and complex it is, transfer tape is a huge, huge help. The larger it is, the more complex spacing, transfer tape is your best friend. So stickers, decals, take your time. The more slow down, the more detail oriented you are, the better it's gonna turn out. Cleaning the surface, making sure that everything is done beforehand, and then when you do, go with it. Nice firm placement is really helpful. So thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully you learned a little bit. I appreciate the 1 million views and uh, come back soon. Uh, we have a lot more in store and I can't wait to show you. Thank you.